Okay, my name is Crayholm, and this is going to be a an analysis of a specific game by Too Great For You. Um, you put this in the Summer School Weekly Replay Review. It is a specific Lucian game. Um, you have plenty of other ones here as well, I believe, but this is the one that you link to, so this is the one I have actually watched so far. If you want me to watch other ones, you can let me know. Um, you're just, the, the key thing that you said, just point out any mistakes you made, and that's about it. Usually we look for more than that, but, uh, this game specifically, uh, doesn't have that much that I can really analyze, as it was quite one-sided. Um, so I'm not sure if this was the exact best video for you to, uh, pick. Um, I don't know if you meant to or not, but, uh, so this is going to be short, um, because I'm going to look for anything that I can apply to other games, not the little small micromanaging things, and the key one that I think, um, you have a problem with, at least in this game, is your mentality on Lucian as an AD carry, um, you're thinking you need to go get kills, you're thinking you need to jump forward, do a bunch of damage and things, your goal is to survive and do damage, and you you do really good on the second one, not on the first one. Surviving is kind of bad for you. I understand that they have an Akali, and it's hard, especially when they have some money on them, they'll kill you. But part of that, the big thing about an AD carry is where you position. A lot of time you'll be you'll wait to go in at the beginning of the fight, but then halfway through you'll go really hard and really far. And you're looking for people to kill rather than looking for who's coming at you and who you need to shoot. Um... And that's where you kind of make mistakes. So your your goal is never to leap to their front line. But maybe when their front line gets to your midline-ish, right? You know, just in your attack range, that's when you shoot. Okay? Especially when they have an assassin. You don't want to go forward. A lot of time you want to have your Janus stick to you. So, um, example... Let me see. I don't know if I actually want to do this one now that I think about it. But um, one thing that you guys make a mistake this specific game is... Understanding that you're outnumbered. I'm using your guys' vision right now. They're doing a dragon. Dragon doesn't matter as much. You guys already have one. You should be able to see five people. You never need to really look for your teammates. But your teammates are doing too much, except for like knowing beforehand that your Zed is in mid and, of course, your Nass is his top. You don't need to know what Poppy's doing or Janna necessarily is doing. You want to know where the people who will kill you. These five are. Right? Five of them there, you guys are outnumbered. There's no reason why you should be anywhere. Anywhere near here. I mean, you should be hiding under a tower right now. Because that, that's where you'll have your uh, see, your first death. That's the only reason I brought up this one is, stay away. If it's outnumbered, stay away. You don't need to do anything unless, of course, you know, they all have really low health. Um, avoid dashing forward is a big one that I think you do. Probably not a good idea. Let me... I've only watched this once, so... Let me... Okay, so yeah, it's good positioning, you get ulti, okay, no big deal, it's a decent fight, you dash to the side, that's great. Fight goes pretty well, you guys end up doing good, but this is where you, you're, this is an example of where you want to get kills. You're like, oh my gosh, I must get kills, and that's not what your job is. Your job is not to finish off people necessarily. Your job is to get the people that are in kind of your attack range, kind of in your simple range. Your job is not to dash forward and find this guy. He looks, he looks really good, but it's not your job. That is not what you are supposed to do as the ADK. So, did I already miss the dash? I think I just missed the dash. Okay, and right about here. So, he does that. You dash forward because he looks good. He flashes away. But now, luckily there's no one to stun you or anything. But you're in a really, really bad spot when you do that, theoretically. You're really close to all of them versus one of them. You can only theoretically shoot one person at a time, so if you can 1v1 people, that's the best scenario, unless, of course, they're like an Akali Assassin, and that's when you should have your Janna next to you, protecting you. Understanding why I can't give a lot is, like I said, you know, their Akali gets fed, some of that is off of you, um, some of that's off of teammates, and it, it's all just a different thing, but an example of the, what you might not notice in a very small fight of how you go too far is going to be this right here. So, we're going to watch you again. Let it catch up. The video's all messed up. I think you're actually like down here or something. So, let me pause this. Let me get vision on all. Okay. So, you guys know they were kind of doing Baron. Okay. Someone already pinged this. You guys already saw the Akali, apparently. Right? So, they're all here. Okay. They have both a Kha'Zix, an Akali, and Ignar. All three will come at you. 
understanding who's going to come at you, and then just playing around that. You don't need to go to them. They're going to come to you. So if you wait for them to come to you and you position right, you dash away and get some, get just enough you know, distance. I know you're right here, but let's say you're right here and they jump in. You just dash right here and you shoot them. You have enough distance to just sit there shooting them while they're trying to walk at you, especially like a Meganar or a Kha'Zix. Like they use their dash, their jumps, then that's all they have. They have no more jumps. They've used it. It's on cooldown. You just dash away and make the, the range you need again. And then you're perfectly fine. But instead, you're trying to go forward. You know, you should maybe be helping the rest of your team kill this one Akali. Instead, you know, here we go. So, there you go. You have your front line going. Jam is kind of being stupid. But, I think you decide to try to get into the fight. They're kiting backwards. You're trying to get into the fight. Instead, just wait for them to come to you. Okay. Zed loses to Akali because he's stupid. But luckily, you guys never really get engaged on when you're down in numbers, other than the Akali killing Zed. But I'm just using these things as examples for later on. Other games is save your dash for repositioning, not to chase. As well as you can wait. You don't have to do everything or finish everyone off. That's not your job. I understand you're looking for money. You're looking for kills. Kills will come. People jump to you. They come to you and put money in your lap. Um, any AD carry with a dash, you don't have to dash backwards. Let's say this is you and the enemy's on. The enemy is the destroyed tower. You don't have to dash backwards. Just dash to the side. So then once you kill him or whatever, or they run, you're kind of closer to the fight. You know, you're only right here versus right here kind of thing. You're closer to the fight for the next thing, but you're not out of position to where an Akali will be able to easily jump on you, right? But if, you know, the Kha'Zix is over here, or the Narn, and you want to finish them, and you dash forward, the Akali's back here. By the time you kill them, the Akali's in range to kill you. Versus if you wait for Narn to leap to you, then you shoot him, Akali's way back there. Right? You want to keep as much distance away from four members while getting close to, getting just in your out attack range of one member of the enemy team. Then you keep going. Once you kill that tank, you kill the next, and the next, and eventually, you know, your team is overwhelming numbers-wise. Your job also is to kill the tanks, do damage to the tanks. That's about it. You don't have to worry about Nazreel. You don't have to worry about a bard, right? You don't care about the AD carrier support. Pretend they're not even, like, matter, because they don't matter to you unless you've already killed other people. Um, if you have a different video that's uh, a little bit closer, that's not 22 and 8, um, I'd love to look at it. Uh, like I said, when it's, a, when it's kind of a blowout, it's kind of hard to a lot of things. Lightning phase is very micromanaging, um, and that doesn't apply to a lot of games, as ganks happen different ways, different comps, whatever, that just don't really apply over very easily. Other than, oh, you know, position when wave management, things like that, that I don't think matter too easily in this one that I can go over. Uh, so again, if you have questions or anything, let me know. I hope this helped with the understanding of the AD carry in your job. Um, Resolution and the, the, the big mistakes that got you killed in this game that led to kind of the loss. Uh, I'm not saying it's only your fault, not trying to be any, you know, critical or anything, just trying to help you out. Again, let me know if you have any concerns.